would you just look at this? Not that, not that, not those light boxes either. But look at this cord. That is a big one. 10 gauge, 100 feet, good supply cord. Um, I like all the Flexilla stuff, as you can maybe tell, as there's 100 feet of air hose and some extension cord laying there. Um, I really like their stuff. Um, I got into it a little while ago, and um, I just, I like how they roll up nice every single time. Um, just a good cord. Um, they're carried at Menards, um, but otherwise... Amazon has them, and I'm sure you can find them other places, too. Um, this is also very important. Not that I see negative 58 in Wisconsin, where I'm at, but when it does get cold, they still um, maintain their flexibility. So, uh, never done an unboxing before. This is really awkward without having a tripod or something to set my camera on. But basically... Holy hell. There's some weight to that guy. Bam. That is a cord. Maybe. Get this stuff. Yes, that is a cord. It's got some wicked ends on it. And it is... I mean, that is nice. That is a heck of a supply cord. So yeah, I... Uh, Went and got that tonight at Menards. Um, they're running 11% rebate. Uh, some people say it's kind of gimmicky. I'd probably have to agree with them, but uh, I spend a lot of money at Menards, so when I get the 11% rebate, well, I just go to the store and buy stuff like it's intended to do. Um, so I picked this up today. It's 90 bucks, uh, regular price, so 81 bucks out the door. Not too bad for the supply cord. Just a, a, maybe two months ago, I almost bought this in anticipation of the trailer. And I decided to wait, and I'm glad I did. Because this cord dropped in price from like 150 bucks down to 100 bucks. So, glad I did that. $50 saved by waiting. Now, for the uh, main course of this video, I also bought some stuff tonight. Holy crap, that was uh, that was rough. I got, I think, the world's slowest Menards driver, but uh, I could kind of tell the guy was new on the fork truck, and so I just helped him out, kind of guided him through, and helped him get everything figured out. He had to make two picks. I was there for uh, quite some time, but in his defense, we hand-loaded these bottom 20 sheets, and then we had to put six sheets from that bunk back just to get above the sides of the trailer because, unfortunately, I don't have a flatbed. Um, and then we grabbed, so there's 20 sheets, a three-quarter, and then we hand-picked out of the uh, bunks inside um, 20 sheets of half-inch, and then I have four sheets on top of quarter-inch. So that right there um, is the material that I needed to build, I'm going to see if I can do this, I've never selfied this way before, so hopefully it turns out, um, hi, um, so anyway, that is the material to build, um, one of the Polk workbenches, the compact bench, um, that's the three foot by six foot one, if you've seen his videos, um, and then one of the Polk workbench twos, which is the two part bench, uh, which is two, two by eight foot pieces. Um, they're a little shallower. Um, and the sawhorses that go along with the benches. So that's all the material to build those in, uh, or build those. And then the rest of the plywood that I have here is for building in the trailer, um, which is uh, inspired by um, art, which is Ron Polk's, quote, awesome rolling toolbox. Uh, his new trailer is Smart, the super mobile awesome rolling toolbox or something of that 
nature. So anyway, um, just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I'm going to go upload this video, and then I got some paperwork to do, and tomorrow's Friday. I got a half day of work. Um, I'm putting in those light boxes that I said don't get excited about earlier. So um, I'm going to go do some paperwork, and after I get my paperwork done, I will go to work tomorrow and hopefully start building some cabinets. So that'll be awesome. Take her easy.